What? What is up science team? Today we're gonna to be doing a super cool and super easy fun experiment that you can do in your own house. In fact, you can do it in your kitchen, which is where I am right now, the science kitchen. Um, so this actually came to me uh, in a form of an email, an email question from Scott Monterano. So thank you, Scott. Uh, he got in contact with me through my Nickpedia email, which is hey Nick Uhas at gmail.com. So if you guys have any burning questions or ideas for future episodes, hit me up on heynickuhas at gmail.com. Now he sent me this photo of what looked like an ice cube with like a little ice spire sticking out of it, kind of at a slant. And he said, what is this? Please explain. Um, and so I went ahead and did a lot of research and turns out it's an ice spike. And so you can actually uh, take ice cubes and with a little of a uh, bit of science maneuvering, you can make little spikes that stick directly out of your ice cubes. So we'll call them ice spikes. Science ice spikes. Ice spikes of science. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make these things. Um, they're really cool. It's a really cool little science trick that you can do at home. And I'll explain exactly what is happening. So let's get the ice spike of science uh, making. So you're gonna take an ice tray and you're going to fill it up with some distilled water. Now, the results work better when you use distilled water. Pour this in here. Now, the level of this doesn't really matter so much. Um, so you're gonna take this ice tray, and you're gonna put it in said freezer, but you're not just gonna put it in the freezer. You could do that, but in order to get ice spikes, we need to put it in there with a fan. So it can be any kind of fan, um, Best if it's battery operated because you can just stick it in there. Okay, so there's some airflow coming out of here. If you just leave that in there for maybe about two hours, um, even around 45 minutes, you'll see some ice spikes. What? That one is sick. That is such a good ice spike. Look at that one. Nice. That is a great ice spike. So sick. Awesome. Such, such a success. Okay, so there we go. We got some really cool, awesome ice spikes. This reaction is really interesting. Um, it really has a lot to do with uh, so the properties of water. Now what's happening inside the freezer is this, is that as the surface of the, uh, the water, the ice cube tray is freezing, um, the, the actual ice is expanding and it's forcing the water inside of the ice cube. Now, eventually at some point, that water has to go somewhere. And so it actually starts to peek out of the surface of that ice cube uh, because it can't go anywhere else because on the bottom there is the tray. And so as it's peeking out, we have now liquid water and ice all the way around it. Now, that kind of creates this ice tube. And then as uh, the water keeps getting forced out of this ice tube, it keeps freezing, which then grows into this big long ice tube ice spike. Let me know in the comment section below, were you guys super stoked that we got ice spikes and that we got to see them grow, like actually grow in the freezer? Um, also, let me know, have you even heard of ice spikes? Did you even know this was a thing? Um, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We have new videos every week and I'll see you guys really soon.